The research process. Identifying the problem, literature review, types of variables, formulation of hypothesis, research design, tools of research, instruments, data analysis, drawing conclusion, report and publication. The process of research. Research is a process through which new knowledge is discovered. Also, it follows a sequence of steps. The exact sequence and steps vary somewhat with the type of research. The steps vary slightly by whether a study involves a quantitative or a qualitative approach and data. If the researcher follows the steps of the research process, while conducting research, the research can be expected to progress smoothly. The first step in the research process is identifying the problem. To identify the research problem, first, we need to ask a question, or identify a need, arising from our curiosity, and that which needs an answer. This research question sets the direction of study, here are the kinds of questions we may ask. What events cause or determine a given phenomenon, behavior, or response? What is the nature of the phenomenon, behavior, or action, that is, its structure, and how is it linked with other phenomenon, actions, or behaviors? What are the relationships of processes with the observed phenomenon? Are there similarities? differences, or relationships, between several observed phenomenon, events, or characteristics. The next thing we must do is, identify the factors to examine. This is necessary for us to be able to answer the questions. The factors might range from simple, like the child's age, or socio-economic status, the type of materials, or equipment used, and species of organism being studied. Or to complicated measures, like the effects of domestic violence on teenage behavior, or effects of changing the amount, or type of materials, time, place of study, or the process used. Other examples include degree of violence in programs, emotional arousal, facial expression, or family communication patterns. After identifying the problem, we then need to formulate that research problem. The first step is to make sure we clearly understand the problem. Then secondly, we must rephrase the problem into meaningful terms. Formulating the research problem allows us to decide what we want to find out about. Here are several factors to consider while choosing a research problem. Has it been investigated before? Will it contribute to the understanding of your question? Is it available for investigation? Does it lead to another question? Do you have the necessary resources such as funds, time, expertise, and knowledge, available at your disposal? Are there any gaps in your knowledge of relevant disciplines, such as the statistics required for analysis? After identifying and formulating the research problem, we then have to review some related literature. A literature is a body of prior work, related to a research problem. Scientific research always includes a review of the relevant literature. Literature review, eliminates any chance of duplication. The researcher gains knowledge, about what has already been done. Also, it provides guidance, and suggestions for further research. The researcher gains knowledge of gaps in current research, literature review helps him to identify a good solvable problem. Sources of literature review Different sources of literature review include journals, books, abstracts, 
indexes, and periodicals. Web-based literature also helps researchers to explore scientific and technical literature. It contains abstracts of articles from most journals publishing research, if an abstract is useful, entire articles can be accessed for additional information. The Purpose of Literature Review It tells us which variables have been found to be conceptually and practically important, and unimportant in the related field. Thus, it helps in discovering and selecting variables, relevant for the given study, provides an estimate of the previous work, and an opportunity for the meaningful extension of the previous work. It helps in systemizing, the expanding and growing body of knowledge. This facilitates in drawing useful conclusions, regarding the variables under study, and applying them meaningfully in research. Also, it helps in redefining the variables, and determining the meanings, and relationships among them. So that the researcher can build up a case, as well as a context for further investigation, that is merit, and applicability. The second step in the research process is to formulate the hypothesis. A hypothesis is a kind of suggested answer to the problem. It may be defined as a testable statement, showing a relationship between variables under study. It is stated in the form of a declarative sentence. For example, you are interested to know the effect of reward on retention. From analysis of past research, you found that the two variables are positively related. To convert this idea into a testable statement, you develop these hypotheses. Those who are rewarded, shall require a lesser number of trials to retain a lesson, than those who are not rewarded. It plays a key role in formulating and guiding any study. The hypotheses could be arrived at using deductive theory, or simply based on previous research findings, or could be completely new based on personal observations, and experiences. From a careful examination of relevant theory, and previous findings, the researcher may state one, or more prepositions, whose validity could be tested. For unbiased research, hypothesis is formulated before data gathering begins, never after the data are collected. The next step in the research process is to identify the variables. This variables, are those characteristics which are manipulated, controlled and, or, observed by the experimenter. Three sets of variables, are recognized at the beginning of research. The dependent variable. This is a variable about which the prediction is made, on the basis of the experiment. It is the characteristic, or condition, that changes, as the researcher changes the independent variables. The independent variable. It is the condition, or characteristic, which is manipulated, or selected, to find out its relationship to some observed phenomena. Extraneous variable. An uncontrolled variable that may affect the dependent variable, this effect is unwanted, so the experimenter tries to control it as far as practicable. Let's have some examples. From the research topic, the effect of reward on retention. The dependent variable, or DV, is, retention. While the independent variable, or IV, is, reward. Another example. From the research topic, effects of domestic violence on teenage behavior. The dependent variable is, teenage behavior. And the independent variable is, domestic violence. Then for the scientific research topic, effects of various types of fertilizer on plant growth. 
The dependent variable is, plant growth. The independent variable is, types of fertilizer. That was just the first part of the research process discussion. We will have the second part of the discussion of the research process in the next video.